Today we're going to take you through homes in Venice, Florida, give you an idea of what the market looks like here and talk about the city. Let's go. First one, I like the landscaping. Mm -hmm. First of all, I like this the house roof. a lot too. Yeah. And by the way, if you want to see another home in the same community, we're in Chestnut Creek, which is a community in Venice, of course. We did a previous video in this community with a different house, which has got some similar touches, but also very, very different. I will link that video in the description. And I like this house's layout. It's very fun in some of the touches. So right away when you walk in, you can see they've got like a living room and a kitchen. We'll take you through that in a second, but there's also this wing to the right right away. Mm -hmm. And per early 2000 homes, you've got like the little built-in shelvings up kind of towards the ceiling. The one in the previous video, we did have lighting up there, which was a nice touch. And I'm not seeing that I here. I think this one has it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we get that. So we've also got your laundry room and garage access here, which they put new appliances in brand new. I mean, they got some stickers yeah. and everything on them yet. Oh, the LG we keep seeing on commercials. Yep. <laughs> Lots of cabinet <laughs> space here. And you got your water nice out here. Garage. It's a great spot for that. You got a sink Pretty out here. Big garage too. Nice to have the sink. I like the flooring. And you get space here to the right if you want to do like some built-ins oh, yeah. or anything it's really like, for storage. Yeah, it's like a dedicated storage space. They just haven't really put any shelving in, but you could easily do that. And you got the your side, and air the handler door. out here. <laughs> the side door too, which is always nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that, honestly, that's surprisingly somewhat uncommon in a lot of mm -hmm. homes in Florida to have that side access door for the garage. So it's kind of nice to get that. And then continuing here, we've got a guest bathroom. I like the touch with the sink style with the little bowl sink there. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice tub. We'll take you to this room here in a second. There's one more bedroom here. So this is a three bed, two bath. 1,451 square foot home. Nice big window in here. More it shelving, was... kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it was built in 1988 and is listed at $465,000. The HOA fee here is at three fifteen dollars per month. Wait, when was it built? 1988. Oh, wow. That's a lot older than what I guess. So it's a 90s, not, kind of 90s style home. I would have thought it was more early 2000s. I love this room. The HIA fee is 315 a month, and that does include a pool, a community pool, clubhouse, sidewalks, tennis courts. I like that this room has access to the lanai, beautiful view. And yeah, it feels like it could use it as a bedroom, a second living room, kind of like they're using it, an office. There's just I a lot like of ways. I like that idea, actually, of yeah. having a second living room. Yeah, a lot of, you know, flex with this room for sure. And then heading back over towards the front of the house. So the kitchen. Oh, I like that kitchen. Yeah, I like the counter. So they got the little like counter space here for you know, your breakfast bar. I like the vent there, the stove top. Yeah. That's a nice touch. That's really nice. And then they got the double ovens over here. And then I love this too. Lots of windows here. This kind of unique kind of like corner that it's like diagonal. And then you could use this as a little office nook. Yeah, and I like that they went the same with the windows too, like half circles. Yeah, and they did it around the corner. Just little interesting touches like that, I always think gives a house character, I love it. And that's not all, there's a lot more character to this house. First of all, I like this too. Look at these little double fans. <laughs> this is kind of cute and unique and different. I think it's fun. Open overall to the yeah. living room and, and dining room area it's but then open. you also got this amazing view of the pond back there and the and through the lanai with the big glass doors and then they got the big arched window up there and this i just think is fun having that kind of slanted wall there it almost gives the living room area like a triangle shape it's yeah. a little odd and and weird but at the same time i don't know i like it i think it's just unique and it but you yeah you could out. also set the couch this way and just put a tv there if right to kind of create that Mm -hmm. shape that you want again got the arched windows there pretty good dining room space primary bedroom i like that you have the view the water view from the windows mm -hmm. here i got two of them actually yeah and you also got another lanai door here for more natural light 
pretty big bedroom. I mean, that bed's... That looks like it might be a king. It looks like a king size, yeah. So that's good. And they still got room for a couch. A couple nightstands. Pretty tall ceilings, too. Somewhat vaulted. Mm -hmm. And then we got a closet over here. It's a big walk-in closet. Oh, wow, yeah. Goes in quite a ways, too. Oh, wow, look at this. There's an extra little pocket over here. So it's actually sneaky big. It's bigger than it seems it's like a bee. Oh, I didn't even notice that too. There's another arched window there. <laughs> and then got your double vanities. I like the mirrors and the framing on those. It's really nice. Seems like the bathroom was updated recently, the kitchen as well, mm -hmm. and some of the flooring. And it's very tastefully done. Like it's a style that I feel like will, will stay in style for a long time. I like the glass door here and yeah, the tile in here is nice. The pebbled stone looking floor, really, really nicely done. It's gorgeous. Shall we go outside? Let's do it. And of course, when we get to house two, we'll start giving you a little bit of a market update, tell you a little bit about Venice, all that kind of good stuff. Look at this. Again, you got kind of this triangle shaped lanai with the, you know, <laughs> the angled walls here and doors for access out here. I like that it's covered here, but then you got the kind of open area here where it's just covered by the screen. So if you want some sun, you can get some sun. If you want some shade, you can get some shade. It's really nice and breezy. It's a beautiful fall day in Florida today. Yeah, it's today. perfect weather today. It's like 75 or something like that. Yeah. Good pond view back here. Let's take you back here a little bit, see if we can find you a gator <laughs> and yeah. Really good space back here. Got a little bit of room to play with. Pond. Good chance there might be a gator in there. Maybe two, because it looks like it's a pretty big one. Big pond. Continues over there, kind of. Off in the distance, you can see all the way back over there. But should we do house number two? Let's do it. House number two. It's a little windows. windy, so sorry if there's uh, some wind on the mic. Like the outside, we're in Venice Gardens, which is a nice, quiet neighborhood. Gonna give you your market update though. Right about now, the in Sarasota County, which includes Sarasota, of course, Northport, Welland Park, a little bit of Inglewood and Venice, the median sale price is $485. Actually got a closet right here right away on the way in too, which is kind of nice. Again, like closet. Yeah, you don't get a lot of that in Florida. And that median sale price has been pretty flat overall. I mean, there's been some deviations up and down over the last several months, but it's been relatively flat. It's a nice area. It's like a uh, big living room the, area. This house as a whole too, I gotta say, super nicely updated. And there's a really nice secret I've got for you, or we'll show you, I guess, that I don't have it for you. They did it that you'll see at the, um, in the master bedroom. But uh, inventory, uh, relatively flat, got a little bit higher towards the beginning of the year. Right now, I think we're at 12-ish weeks of inventory, so 12.7. Uh, and, and slightly trending up, I'd say, the last mm, month and a half. And so that's kind of a good indicator. You know, uh, basically, you're looking at a little over three months worth of inventory. So it, the market's weird, though, with the interest rates and all that. It does kind of feel somewhat like it's slightly buyerish market it just depends and then the average sale to list ratio what kind of which kind of gives you a better perspective on all that as far as if it's a buyer or seller's market is 0.97 meaning about 97 percent of what the list price is is probably what you can expect to get a home on average linen closet in here but Obviously, as always, every home is going to be different, and that's why you need a good local realtor, which Haiti is. Yeah, so if you are looking to move to the Venice or Soda areas, make sure to call, text, or email me, 941-221-1897. And as always, if you're looking to buy something outside of that area, we'll have a link in the description where we can connect you with a better realtor in any city in Florida or the United States for that matter, and really match you up with someone that's fitting exactly what you're looking for and where you're looking for so you can get someone that knows that market. They really did do an amazing job. Yeah, the flooring, it's really nice in this house. Um, I like the colors, mm -hmm. the colors they went with too. Yeah, it's sort of like a 
blue, you know, like a sky blue, but like a little bit of a clay, darker gray tone to it. Like you could easily do like a coastal decor <laughs> here, uh, but it's this... got a slight farmhouse feel too, in a yeah. way. Very big open Especially areas. In the kitchen, yeah. So this is a three bed, two and a half bath home. It was built in 1972, but recently remodeled, as you can see. Love the flooring in here. It is listed at $480,000 and it's 1,818 square feet. Love all the counter space and the style of counters and the backsplash. I really it. like this, yeah. That's amazing. It's very farmhouse. Mm -hmm. Lots, I mean, look at all the cabinet space. It's nice and big and open. This and the is a kitchen's really nice and big too. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like the space as a whole is open. Like sometimes with older homes and the remodel, you maybe have a smaller kitchen where like you get everything here. Yeah. It's pretty, it's somewhat enclosed, but somewhat open yet to the rest of the house. And you got the little pass through window here. Pantry over here. Pantry. I mean, all this extra counter space and cabinets over here. I, yeah. I like the um, ceiling too. It's, it's a little bit lower than uh, most newer homes, but I yeah. like what they did with it. Yeah, how it's elevated mm -hmm. in the middle there. Yeah, just functionality wise and style wise. That's a really, really, really nice kitchen. I'm a big fan of that. Mudroom and garage is also here. And it's nice that you have a door there to get to the pool. Yep, so when you get home, you can just head right to the pool. <laughs> Got some cabinets built in out here, which is nice and shelving. That's amazing. Got your attic access there. One of your attic accesses. There's probably another one somewhere. Oh, look, I didn't notice That's this right before. There, yeah. Got another little access door here. Oh, got another little bathroom out okay, here. Okay, cool. And so your water that. heater is out here. And even this, they did a few little like touches with decorations. They thought of everything. That's really, really cool. Really nice. And with the side door too, it's and very convenient. There's actually a window here and more shelving up there and more right here. So yeah, nice touches all throughout with little details. Some that were built in already from the older version of the home and then some amazing updates. Speaking of which, I'm going to show you that one in the in the primary bedroom. But first, we got this little area here. It looks like it's a maybe a lanai that got converted yeah. with the pass-through window there. And then cool. the primary bedroom. So this bathroom is pretty cool. If you haven't seen it, so I'm yeah. curious. Got a little walk-in closet here. Not huge, but you can kind of walk in there and you got a little extra storage on the side. Pretty good space for the primary. Yeah. Got, I mean, a lot of space over here on the foot of the bed. Fair amount of space on the sides. And I like the windows on both sides of the bed. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the big window yeah. there. Nice update with the sink, cabinets. Got another little linen closet over here. I like that they got the similar. Same I don't counters. think it's quite the same, but it's very similar to the counters mm -hmm. in themselves. And then look at this. Oh, wow. It's like an optical illusion. It almost seems like because of the glass here, like you're looking at a reflection. Because like when I came in here before, I was like, wait, is the tub actually behind me? No. <laughs> so you come in here, you got a walk-in shower. I like the floor too. It's funky. Mm -hmm. And then there's like a little glass piece. It's hard to see on camera. Maybe that goes from here to here. And then this is open and you walk into your soaker tub. I really like that tub too. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting and unique. Mm -hmm. Let's take you out to that pool to give you a little idea about Venice. It's a quaint small town on Florida's Gulf Coast, but an hour south of Tampa. Quiet herb, but definitely up and coming, growing. An amazing quaint downtown with historic Italian architecture. Lots of, you know, beach themed shops and restaurants and just a lot of unique stuff going on there. It's one of those places where you visit. You're like, yep, I'm moving here. And you always feel like you're on vacation. Mm hmm. Got a nice fishing pier where you can fish without a license and a tiki hut right at the end of that on, on the beach there with tropical drinks and food. Heritage Park, which is a park in the median of Venice Avenue, which is very, very nice. And it has the big banyan trees yeah, those that are we're known for. Gorgeous. I like this pool too. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Venice also has a jetty, which is pretty unique. It's something not many cities anywhere really have, which is kind of like a fishing pier, but 
lower to the ground. We'll put some B-roll here so you can see what it looks like. And you can see dolphins there quite a bit, actually, and manatees occasionally. Let's go to the next one. Pulse number three. Really big lots in this neighborhood. Nice community, lots of mature trees. Very close to the beach too. And this one actually presents a really cool opportunity that we're going to show you right away. So this is a mother-in-law suite or a studio apartment. So yeah, you could rent this out, Airbnb it potentially. Apologies, there's no power in this. So this is just one half. You know, or one, not even a half, it's like an eighth of the, of the place, but both parts do not have electricity, unfortunately. So, but you got everything you need here, you know, you got your stove, your fridge, fridge and sink, some cabinets, another access door from the outside there. Got yourself your bathroom. And this is completely detached from the main house. So that's why it's a great rental opportunity. Mm hmm Something, yeah, if, you know, someone that just wants to do a long-term rental that's really, you know, small and maybe just a, a, you know, they keep as a getaway for the winter or whatever. Yeah, a snowbird might find this appealing. Or definitely, I mean, it's very Airbnb looking, you know. It's definitely the kind of conversion that you would see in a lot of Airbnb homes. And so right next to it, so that was one door. Here's the next door. And this they, is the main house. Yes. And they got a little patio area here, which is nice. A little bench. And again, apologies, no electricity in this half either. But this, this half is really big, actually, considering you also have that little efficiency on the other half. So big living room area. Like this is actually pretty impressively big, especially again, considering you have that other half. So we got bedrooms over here, bedrooms over here. We'll take you through everything. And then the dining room area here. And there is a pool in the back. <laughs> yeah, so this is a three bed, three bath with the one bed, one bath law. In La Suite. In La Suite. So total four bedrooms. And it is 1,500 square feet. Um, could, it's listed at 479,000. Could use a little more counter space, maybe in cat. The cabinets is actually pretty good, but. Yeah, but you could ex also extend the kitchen to the left there. Yeah. It's not too small by any means, though. It's big enough, definitely. And so you can see back here, that was the entry where we came from. You've got bathroom here. And this is not in an HRA community, which is nice because that way that's- That yeah, goes that's to the, the other suite. unit. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I was just testing it, but yeah, so it doesn't open, but that's what that door is for. So there is no HOA here. So, you know, you, you could rent it out. Um, Sarasota County does have a 30 day minimum rental, but you could go um, and speak with the county and see if you can make it on Airbnb or just do like short-term rentals as well. Big walk-in closet. Got some shelving on the sides. Nice size room. Mm-hmm. And I like that you have access to the little lanai area. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing too I noticed that I like. They got like a lanai separate from like the pool area. Yeah. They have like a caged-in pool and, a, and the lanai is kind of separated to make its own little room. So then back to this half of the house. That's and the primary bedroom. Like Katie was saying, we're, oh, this is a big walk-in closet. It's kind of, okay, so this is so all the whole, bedroom, yeah. gotcha. And there's a pocket door here to close it off. The uh, Venice Island area is not very far from here at all. Yeah. You get there very, five minutes tops, I would say, and probably less. And Sarasota is even closer to this end of town if you want to be closer to the bigger city. Mm-hmm. So then you got your bathroom with your double vanities. Some light from the window there. Those cabinets are really nice. Mm-hmm. Pretty nicely updated shower. And we'll take you out to this lanai. And pool. Oh, and that's right. I forgot. There's actually, we've been in this house once before. Oh, yeah. There's another mm -hmm. little room over here. So first of all, you got this whole room, which is like lanai that the, Somewhat of a lanai, I guess you could say, slash Florida room, indoor area. You got this extra little room over here. Oh, okay. Right off of the so, yeah. primary bedroom. When I was looking out of that, I was thinking that this room was this room. 
But yeah, so it's actually like a separate little, I mean, you can almost make this like a bedroom or a living room area or whatever you want to do with it, really. And then the pool area. Which is caged in, which is awesome. It's a really nice size pool. Yeah, it's really big. With the hot tub too. Oh yeah, didn't notice that actually. And there is also a little shed to the left. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got some windows in it too. Mm -hmm. If you're looking to move to the Venice, Sarasota areas, make sure to call, text, or email us. I am a local realtor here in 941-221-1897. If you are looking to move to anywhere else in Florida or in the United States for that matter, we'll have a link in the description box below. We'll put you in contact with a vetted realtor in the area that you're looking for. If you want to see more about what life in Venice, Florida is like, we got a whole playlist for you right here. If you want to see another home tour in Florida, check out this video. YouTube thinks you're going to like it. If you the newest home tours, market updates, and tours of cities, subscribe and turn on all notifications. Hit the like button if you found the video helpful, and we'll see you in one of these videos next.